What's going on everybody? Gem Mint here back again with another Berserk statue unboxing and review. We have the last of the God Hand. We have Slan and Ubik, the DX version, and I think I might be in trouble with this one, man. We're gonna do the unboxing and review unedited, uncensored, and raw for you guys, man. So make sure to hit that like button, be subscribed to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. We are doing a giveaway for our next subscriber milestone of 135,000, and we're giving away this sealed all new Wolverine Omnibus from Marvel Comics. Stick around to the end and I'll give you more details on that. Before I jump into the unboxing, guys, you gotta make sure to download and follow me on Whatnot, absolutely the best app to buy and sell comic books. Takes everything good from eBay and YouTube live auctions, merges it together, and it has none of the BS that comes with it. You don't have to deal with PayPal. You don't have to send emails and follow up emails. You don't have to worry about eBay's crazy rules. Check it out, it's super fun. I'm doing my first live auction Wednesday, November 10th at 5 p.m. Eastern. With that out the way, let's jump into the unboxing. All right, guys, let's start with Ubik. He's got a little bit of a smaller box. To my surprise, a couple of pieces. So removing the tissue paper, we'll take a look at the instruction pamphlet that kind of got a little bit damaged, but no big deal. It shows uh, where the pieces lie in the box. On the back, it has a little assembly guide for Ubik. Not really needed, but it's still there. Nice to have. So let's get rid of that and let's look at the base. So number 70 out of 750 for the DX. The DX comes with Ubik as well as the additional portrait for Slan. Same sub base and pretty much the same base that we've seen for all the God Hand. The Sea of Sorrows, bloody faces in the base, the uh, kind of remnants of an egg from the billet. Looking at Ubik's body, I love it, man. His little creepy little hands and his very insect looking body. I love that green metallic shine to it. Uh, the pink is kind of coming from my lights in the back. I did lose one of his little flippers on the right there that I ended up gluing back together. No big deal. Great paint job on this thing. Super creepy, just like Conrad. I didn't even see the little pole here. It was stuck to the tape. So this will be the pole to attach him to the base. Then the portrait, super creepy. Uh, kind of gives me like Mojo from the X-Men vibes. He's got these glasses that feel like they're sunken into his face. That evil grin with the purple lips, the veins. And you can tell from the back, maybe not on video, but a translucency to him. Let's go ahead and plop the base down on the turntable here. Not that big of a footprint for this one. We'll go ahead and get that pole there in the middle. And then let's go ahead and get the body on the pole. So a companion piece, I figure you'd want to put him behind other pieces. I might put him behind Conrad. And then let's go ahead and stick the portrait on there. Super creepy little guy, little cockroach insect type of monster. All right, guys, before we get into Slon, a quick shout out from one of our sponsors, Street Level Hero. SLHLA.com has exclusive variants with brand new drops every Tuesday and Thursday. Just released this amazing Psylocke and Wolverine variant cover. You can save 10% on it by using the code GEMMINT at checkout. That's good for any item on the store every time you shop there. Just like their sister site, that's SpidermanBooth.com. They have $30 mystery boxes where you're guaranteed five comics of retail value, and one of those lucky boxes is gonna have their giveaway prize. This round, it's a copy of Batman Adventures 12, the first comic book appearance of Harley Quinn. It's an ungraded raw copy, and this round will end on November 10th, same day as my first WhatNot live stream. Save 10% off of a box, and that's good every time you shop there as well. And now onto Slan. She does have two pretty big boxes. It does have some pamphlets. Here is kind of like the other Berserk pieces. Guts, the Black Swordsman, Berserker armor, Griffith and Zod. Then Femto, Slan, Ubik, and uh, Zod in Apostle form. It has an extra flyer for Isidro, which I did do a review on. Still have him with the rest of the Berserk display. And then lastly, the uh, package contents and the assembly guide on the back, which is way more helpful because she's got two sets of wings here and it's kind of important to know which ones go first and, and stuff like that. So let's get the lid off of this box. Very nice, we'll remove the tissue paper, the packaging supplies, and there we have it. So let's start. By looking at the base here, not overly heavy, but it's still got great weight to it. Pretty basic, um, brand of sacrifice, her name, same sub base, same type of egg base. And again, those bloody uh, glossy faces in that deep blood red base. 
Then we'll take a look at one of her large wings. She has a large set and a small set. They did an incredible job on the wings, man. They're durable, they're large, good weight, not too light, not too heavy. I love the texturing and the paint applications are top notch in these wings, man. Uh, you have like little vampire kind of tips there. Then we have Slan herself. So I love how they made the key. The foot has like this little face key. And they did an amazing job on the skin tones here. You can see little like speckling in there. Great highlights like around her knees and kind of the crevices of her body giving like those purple tones. Very sleek sculpt and amazing paint job. And I'm shocked how detailed they went right there. I mean, it gets covered up, so I don't know why they did it. Then the top torso, man, I got to say it's art, man. And I think they did such a great job painting this. I mean, the paint applications look super realistic. The corset looks creepy and uh, insect-like, like the god hand should. Painted fingernails look amazing. And I love these kind of notches on her back where the wings go and how they have those veins. And then boom, onto the portrait. This is the DX portrait with the tongue up. Super sultry with it. You know, that's kind of her vibe. The hair looks amazing. It has like translucency towards the tips. And I just think they did an amazing job on these head sculpts. Super fragile though, right? Look how crazy how wild and how many tendrils there are for her hair but as impressive that is i think they nailed the portrait here man it looks amazing all right guys on to box two let's go ahead and get off that lid equally large box you can see this one has a number of pieces as well let's get the paper off and mostly wings it's the three wings and the other portrait uh this is the other large wing again they did the key so smart here i love the engineering of this piece uh, and again, the detail and quality is top notch, man. Like the kind of, what do you want to call them? Bone parts in between the wings, not the parts that are the flaps. I mean, it just matches with like Femto and the overall design is just perfect. All right, then we have the two smaller ones. Very similar. You have a face peg on the bottom of it to help keep it secure. They also have little pegs or magnets that go on her body on the top and, and small of her back. You can see the texturing. That leather-like texture looks awesome. Again, the little claws and just those parts right there that I was talking about. I don't know how to describe them. Like the bone part of a bat, you know? So well done with the purples and the blacks and highlights on the black. And then the regular portrait, equally as high quality. I just prefer the DX portrait. I think it, it captures her personality more, but she is looking super sultry here again. And the hair is great. Little like tentacles, it almost looks like. So many of them flailing about. The teal looks great and it really pops in contrast on the statue. All right, let's get her base on the turntable. So considerably larger than Ubix. We'll go ahead and get Slan's bottom torso keyed in onto the top here. And you can see the red kind of effect reflecting off her feet. All right, so first you want to put these smaller wings. They key into the base and into the small of her back here. It's a little tricky. You don't want to chip anything on the bottom of the wings. But uh, that really gives it some great support. Then you want to put the top part of her torso on before we get to the large set of wings. Again, you want to be careful with the hands and everything. So there's another notch in the base, and you want to line it up with her back. It's kind of tricky because it's kind of going over that first set of wings there. So you just got to be careful and take your time with it. Then onto the last set of wings. Uh, again, trying to find that keyhole, trying not to chip the bottom of the wing or chip the other wing that's there. And let's get the portraits on. So, you know, we'll start with the regular portrait. This is a... Uh, the one that you will get if you just get the regular, not the DX, which is still great. But for me, like I said, it's all about this DX portrait. Man, they really killed it on this one. Gives her more of an evil look. She's sinister. She's confident. And wow, man, this is a, a beautiful piece. All right, all right, everybody, calm down. Act like you've never seen nothing like that before. Before we get into the review, let's go over the specs. So like I mentioned, the edition size, this is the deluxe edition, which there were 750. Retailed, $1,205. The collector's edition has an edition size of 1,000 pieces and costs 905. Let's take a look at the dimensions. So Ubik, the diameter of the base is about 11 inches and his height, is about 24 a little bit over 24 inches tall now slan let's see what the diameter of the base is on her you're looking at about 16 inches in diameter however wingtip to wingtip 
is about 20, just shy of 21 inches, and her height, I'm going to say she's about 26 inches tall. Uh, so well done, completing the god hand. Now we have Femto, Void, Conrad, Slon, and Ubik uh, completing that arc. I mean, Prime One has have had to gone deeper than any other studio in the type of pieces that they're offering here. So first, let's talk about the companion piece Ubik, which you can only get in this deluxe edition. Like I said, very similar base, that sub base of that silver with the calligraphy, the design. It's the same as with all Berserk pieces. Then the base on top is the same as all the God Hand pieces. You have the Sea of Sorrows oozing up from underneath the broken bellet eggshell. You can see the flesh tones on the inside, which actually aren't painted as well on Ubik compared to Slan, but we'll get into that. Then you have this tall pole that puts him up flying in the air. He's too small of a character, I guess, to really have done on, his, on their own there. Uh, and I think it looks good because you can kind of put it behind other shorter characters like Conrad, like I mentioned before. The design on the body is amazing. He has that insect-like design. Some fragile pieces on there. Like I said, one of those little flippers uh, did come broken and I glued that back on. The paint job has this dark paint job with like this these green highlights that, that have a metallic shine to them and they look amazing. And then again, the skin tone on the face, it looks perfect, man. It's got this translucency to it. Uh, it's got different textures within his face and the creepiest design. So very cool for a companion piece. It's got to be the biggest exclusive piece for any statue if you think about it, right? All right, now on to Slan. So let's look at the base first. Very similar, right? Just on a larger scale. Same sub base, same um, Sea of Sorrows on top. Although you can see more of a pinkish flesh on the inside of the eggshell, which doesn't really come off uh, as prominent on Ubik which I guess makes sense, it's the focal point, it's the larger piece. Then you have Slan standing in the middle of this hill here, and man, very sexy, she's got her feet showing, and you see like the, uh, the highlights of the red base glowing on her feet, her left foot is up in a very kind of uh, seductress pose, moving up to her midsection. Um, it's classy in the sense that those smaller wings do cover up some of her private parts there, they don't do as good of a job covering up on the top part, but uh, it still makes for some classiness. And I've seen Prime 1 put like black feathers to kind of cover the nudity if you guys want to display it like that in your house, if you have kids or something like that. Uh, but very unique and slick design. I mean, straight out of the manga, but it looks great. I ranted and raved about the wings. As you guys can see it on here, you have four wings, two sets, and so much detail and texture, and the way they just work with the entire piece looks awesome, man. Love her pose, love the positioning of her hands, complementing it with this DX portrait with her tongue up, just, like I said, man, uh, seductive, sultry, sexy, confident, evil. Uh, and she's the embodiment of like everything bad that is associated with sex. That's like kind of her thing if you guys uh, read uh, the manga or have seen the anime. The tendrils have little lines in them, kind of looking like squid or octopus tentacles, and, and they look great, man. The teal going down to the translucent color to it, matching her eyebrows. And she does have a little bit of clothing on, right? Her midsection and around her neck, which hides the seams, giving you still that god hand insect vibe. Now, the other portrait is good, too. I don't think it's anything that you'd be disappointed with if you didn't end up getting uh, the DX version. I just think that the DX version is just so much better, but they're both equally there when it comes to the quality. Man, what can I say? This is probably the most racy piece that I've had to review on the channel for you guys. Uh, it's probably going to get demonetized, so pardon me if I ended up throwing some sponsor plugs in here. But let me know what you think about Slan and Ubik in the comments down below. Like I said, we're doing a giveaway once we hit our next subscriber milestone of 135k. And we're giving away this all-new Wolverine sealed omnibus from Marvel Comics. That's all you got to do. Be subscribed to the channel, leave a like and comment. Once we reach the milestone, we'll go live. Pick a random video where I promoted this specific giveaway and use a random YouTube comment generator to draw a worldwide winner. I'm still doing the 150k giveaway for Deja Thoris, but let's do some smaller ones until we reach that milestone. Alright guys, as always, I appreciate you watching, but don't go anywhere. Check out my Berserk statue unboxing and reviews. Check out my regular statue unboxing and reviews as I leave you with these guys spinning on the turntable. Stay minty fresh. Peace.